But this conversation is going to be really packed full. I'm super excited to have Mr. Yes, TJ here with uh, us today. PJ, thank you so much for joining us today because we're, uh, you know, I, I'm, I get a, I get a different uh, vantage point, you know, being um, Papa Bear of, um, say, you know, around 205 agents or whatever, you know, what our uh, right. two offices have in them. And so I get to see those who are making it happen, those who are wishing it was happening. And, you know, most of them are somewhere in between, you know, um, uh, it is it's tougher than it used to be i tell you this you've only been licensed a short time i think one of the first things i noticed about you was you you came into this environment as a as a teacher it seemed like and i thought man that's really taking the high road uh in an industry that you're fairly new with but you have banking as a uh, banking experience right correct so before we get into all that let's let's hear about who is mr tj who are and, you? and uh, what helps you become who you are today well, um, depends on who you ask who I am, but I'll tell you my version. Um, so I am um, originally from uh, Chattanooga, Tennessee. Okay. So I came up to Nashville uh, several years ago to go to Lipscomb University, graduated okay. from there, and just at that time really liked Nashville. I mean, I told myself, yeah, I'm not going back to Chattanooga. Sure. I'd rather stay in Nashville and struggle than mm -hmm. to go back to Chattanooga at that time. Uh -huh. And so, um, you know, so that's what I did. And, um, you know, ended up uh, getting into banking uh, when I got here. I had a, uh, a leader at the university uh, reached out to him. I said, Hey man, you know, tell me, I, listen, I, I need help with a job. All right. I, I did all this stuff at Lipscomb and you know, I wore out my welcome and you know, the real world's here. And uh, you know, I, I don't know what I'm doing. I got a hundred bucks to my name and I'm, you know, ready to start something. So he, he picked up the phone. He called, um, two people. He called the GM at Lexus of Nashville. Okay. And then he called uh, president at a local bank. And uh, he put in good words for both. Both of them answered his call. And, uh, you know, I had interviews with both within that week. And, um, you know, if I would have gotten a car sales, I think I would have made a lot more money. <laughs> uh, than the banking? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. gosh. Especially, too, because this was not like a, a commission-based bank. Sure. So it was just you got a flat salary. You were an entry-level banker. Mm -hmm. um, and so, you know, you, you were going to make it work how you needed to make it work. But what a, what a great background, though, for what you're doing Absol now. Well, and it's crazy. So my late grandfather, who, you know, was a mentor uh, of mine, he, uh, you know, I asked him, I said, well, Bishop, you know, that's what I called him. He, I called him Bishop. And I said, Bishop, I got two options here. And I've got, you know, this this car sales and, and this and this bank job. And he, he's like, you know, knowing what he knew growing up in the time he grew up, mm -hmm. he understood how valuable understanding banking was. Mm -hmm. And um, he said, yeah, you, you young gun, you don't need to focus on just that, <laughs> that sales only stuff just yet. You need to wait a little bit on that. Go and take that job. Make sure you got your steady paycheck. You get your bills paid. Then you can look at some <laughs> other stuff later. So I took I, I took that $35,000 job. Sure. And, um, and learned in abundance. I ended up leaving that bank, went to a much bigger regional bank, moved up into leadership in that bank, and then eventually transitioned into – uh, property management and uh, real estate mm -hmm. uh, after that and moved up in a leadership and a position there. And so, so you came to us from a, from the springboard of not only banking, but property management, property management, yeah, what a great background for real estate yep. mm -hmm. and uh, real estate investing and doing analytics and uh, managing Airbnbs and working with investors. And, and then also I got licensed while I was at that firm. Mm -hmm. And, um, and so, uh, you know, ultimately kind of things lined up for me to just say, you know what, I think it's good for me to take the leap into real estate and as a realtor. And I saw so many opportunities to be a realtor as well. There were so many different ways you could utilize yeah. that opportunity, you know, that, that mm -hmm. license. A lot of paths. And so I really saw kind of just that open canvas mm -hmm. and said, let's go for it. And so that's what I do. I've got a beautiful wife who's in here with me today, hanging out with me. Yeah. She, is got, uh, she is amazing. She is amazing. Two, uh, two babies. Effie and Malachi, and um, under three. 
both under three. Man, let's Fine. hear it from mom. Yeah. Back to back. <laughs> back to yes. back. So we're, we're, we're doing, but it's fun though. They're fun. I love fun. it. So when did you make the move um, into full-time real estate? So that was full-time was last June. Okay. So, so about been a little over a year. Solid year. Yep. So um, COVID hit. Yep. Things were happening. You're like, I'm jumping in. This was in the middle of COVID. I mean, you know, it's just, just kind of like, you know, things that align with the last company. And I think it's like, you know, I think it'd be time to stretch myself. And, you know, <laughs> I'm thinking to myself, I told Shan, uh, my wife, I said, you know, listen, I'm in the middle of a pandemic with a baby on the way. And <laughs> and and about to go work for myself. This is. I, re I remember us, you know, sitting down the first time, and I'm thinking I'm feeling a little nervous for this man. But you know, <laughs> only because of the surroundings, not because of the skill level or so forth. So, but, but the, here's the good thing, though. The good thing is I'm also a certified <laughs> financial coach. Right. So big on um, financial stability, financial health, mm -hmm. um, wealth building, that kind of thing. And I think one thing that helped me was we had all of our debt paid off except our mortgage mm -hmm. before that transition mm -hmm. and then we had a good amount of savings so yeah, yeah i love that so, so i love what he's talking about is right. positioning yourself for success you know some right. people jump in not having it kind of all organized you know when it comes to their finances so it is important you know even to this day i'm always thinking what if the world comes to an end you know in our industry you got to be prepared right, right. you got to make sure you have um, the ability to continue to grow so oh eight doesn't hit you and i like if it happens again, you know, to, to, like it did to so many at the like time. Like right. yeah. I'm right. just wasn't. <laughs> I was <laughs> She's moving, pointing at me. I but was <laughs> my hands this way. But you know, history repeats itself, so we have to be prepared, right? Even in Absolutely. this, in, even in this mm -hmm. industry. Um, so you jumped in on in June, and so was it an automatic? Uh, last year, you know, it's a different year this year with low inventory. So many people were excited to to sell even though we were all trapped in our houses there was a lot of motion going on there was you a lot know? of motion, there was a lot, motion, a lot of yep. things going on mm -hmm. um so was it just right out of the gate success did you have a plan a system did you write a business plan what, what was your uh, let me tell you from my observation i'm sorry for jumping yeah. in there but I, I saw a man start making investments in his future okay. you started you started investing in the right things to promote you didn't you yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I, I definitely wanted to go into it with a and I'm a I'm a my, I'm a business mindset guy. Anyway. Okay. Anything I touch, I mean, I'm a, what, what does it make sense? What are the numbers? I'm I'm like that, mm -hmm. and so I think that was kind of the the first thing was saying. You know, first off, expect the drought, and I expected it. I'm like, hey, TJ, we might not do anything for three to six months, and I think for about ninety days, I was really just focusing on building momentum. Mm -hmm. I was focusing. I took a marketing academy. Um, uh, I was folk and that taught me social media and some other things. And then um, there was, I was some impressed by your calmness. OK, yeah. so things must have been doing well at home because I, I, you know, I was impressed by a guy who is OK. I got kids, a kid and went on the way. And I don't know what I, I wasn't. I didn't know if mama worked or not at the time, but I know this right. guy was keeping his cool. Right. And his confidence. And that's what always impressed me is your level of confidence. Well, yeah. And, and I think, yeah, I think we knew that, you know, my wife and I talked about it. She's, you know, super supportive, you know, and for her, it's like, hey, if the numbers make sense and you and you believe in it, I know you don't just do stupid stuff if you can avoid it. Uh, I try to do most times. <laughs> and so, you know, it, you know, if you feel good about it, you know, I'm fine with it. And, right. you know, she's in healthcare. She's a licensed nurse and got her master's in nursing. And so, you know, she's able to kind of be like, you know, I'll do what I need to do and just keep it going. Um, she didn't do anything extra or go above and beyond. But I said, while you're doing that, we kind of slingshot each other. And we've had this a couple of times in our marriage. But, you know, it's like, hey, well, while you're, you know, while you're doing this, TJ, I'm good. We'll just keep maintaining, and we've got the yeah. we've got the bill structures and all that stuff organized. And so, ultimately, I 90 days was quiet. I was prospecting. I was learning. I was doing research. I was having conversations, networking, and then uh, October of last year just picked up and then December was just boom and then it's just been consistent ever since. I love since. that.